Hi. Welcome to part three, my final of my Mobius Models Green Lantern build. As you can see, I'm all done. And this was a really, really fun kit to work on. And I, of course, started with the base first, and then I moved on to the body. Uh, I want to talk about the base a little bit. What I ended up doing was for these three connecting points that the hand slots into the base, I just flipped it over and I took my hot glue gun and put a, a little bit of hot glue on each of the um, three pegs that came through to the bottom of the base. And that took about 20 seconds and then I had my my hand nice and secure to the base without worrying about glue spilling or getting fingerprints and then the glue highlights them so that worked out really well I ended up giving the robot some black black eyes with tiny tiny red dots just to bring out a little bit of um, character a really nice nicely designed kit as I stated before love the, the pose of the lantern and how it conveys motion and flight in the um, execution on the lantern himself this kit had almost no seam lines but there were a few that I needed to work work on um, for the body I simply painted it green over the black and then on a few key areas what I ended up doing was I came in once it was painted green I went in with a lighter green just on a few areas and then that lighter green I went back again with my original green and knocked them back a little bit but the effect that gives you is it makes it look like it's catching a, a little bit of light and gives it a little little bit more sense of realism and um, how it would actually look in real life <laughs> really nice kit. The head was the last piece I ended up working on and I used the same color that was on my Michael Myers build and my Cathoga and I really really like working with this color it's light tan and it's a um, enamel. Really nice in that you can build up the more you put on there the darker it ends up looking I did have a little bit of trouble with the seam line on the head not so much on this side but I had a little bit of trouble on this side of the head as you can see I just for whatever reason I didn't catch it another um, slight thing I kinda don't like about this is you don't really get to see the Green Lantern's face obviously because he's focusing on the robot and it's his face is just angled down and you kinda just just get the side profile the eyes were picked out in gray and then white with a toothpick teeth were white as well with a slightly light gray wash and I gave the skin a light gray wash a little bit of a light gray wash on the hair and then I came in with my original skin tone color and I hit his um, chin, the outer areas of the ear, and a little bit around his cheekbone just to give him some definition and to get him to look more natural in his appearance. I also went in here and did some dry brushing for some highlights. I tried to do some highlights on the black with a lighter gray but it it just I didn't like how it looked so I fixed that with black 
a really, really nicely designed kit they've given us. Simple and fluid in its design. So this has been my Mobius Models Part 3 final of my Green Lantern build. And I thank you for watching and if you saw parts 1 and 2, I thank you for following me through to the end. Till next build, we'll see you then. Bye.